hi guys Sajish here so in this video I will show you how to install a four node cluster on AWS using Ambari okay so I just summarize the steps which I'm going to do here so first thing I need to create a uh, four node in AWS okay so I have AWS credential so if you are not registered in AWS so you can create uh, your own account but you need credit card information to do that then uh, the second thing once I have done with uh, this thing so I, I have I'm downloading uh, Ambari repo file from Hortonworks website and uh, creating a, uh, uh, this saving this file into my yum repo and uh, doing this installation so first thing first so let's create uh, four nodes in AWS okay so I'm going to my AWS so AWS dot Amazon so if you have not created so create an account over here okay I'm logging with my credential okay so I got the console okay so here you have a lot of options so I'm selecting EC2 okay so e suppose if uh, this is a page coming so you can select from here also so I'm just uh, selecting an EC2 option here okay uh, so you have option uh, resources and create instance okay so I'm selecting a launch instance over here okay so here you can uh, select the operating system you want okay so you can create your own AMIS so I'm not going to explain this in detail but uh, so just click on the community AMIS and uh, you can select RHCL 6.5 okay uh, so you need to select uh, the 64 bit because our uh, software support only the 64 bit so I'm selecting this so R RHL 6.5 uh, so once selected uh, so this is the instance type okay so the type of instance you want to uh, choose so type again it's all based on the hardware configuration so micro means one CPU and this much um, and uh, there are some okay so general purpose medium one with uh, this thing and uh, large m3 large i'm selecting m3 large because i need a uh, two uh, c uh, cpus and uh, seven gig ram okay so that's it uh, so i can go to the next uh, configure instance detail click that and number of instance i need uh, to create a uh, four machine so i'm selecting it as four then network choose the default and uh, add storage next option so because that by default it's giving only 10 gig uh, so I just need at least uh, 20 gig okay so if you want uh, more you can add that again it's chargeable so tag instance you can just give a name okay uh, so tag instance I am not uh, selecting any instance key value so just uh, going to the next step so configure security group so configure security group so this is very important because this is uh, how we are restricting uh, access to these uh, nodes okay so you can create a new security group so what you have to do here is so this name you can select okay so my security or any name you can do that uh, see what I'm doing here is so I am just uh, doing all the traffic okay so source from anywhere and adding that so this means okay uh, because uh, this is very important uh, as you need to uh, open the um, port so this is uh, how it works so I mean uh, so this port and from anywhere it, it allows access to your uh, resources and then uh, review and launch that's it so you can just uh, launch the instance then uh, uh, it, it's asking for the key pair so key pair is very important because so Amazon by default to use key based authentication so what you have to do is 
create a new key pair if you are doing it the first time okay so training underscore key any name you can give so you just need to download that uh, key pair so save it to some location okay because in future you need that key to uh, connect to this machine so launch instance so it will take a moment to do uh, the in configuration so view instance okay so it will take some time to uh, do this provisioning so let me go back to this location and containing folder I'm just copying that and then pasting it into my desktop 